mDaemon can be configured to run under different architectures. It can be configured to retrieve mail from an ISP's mail server using domain pop. It can be configured as an independent mail server, or it can be used as a domain gateway or backup server. Let's first discuss retrieving mail from an ISP using domain pop. In this example, the domain registered is company.com. The MX record for this domain points to the mail server of the internet service provider. A common mailbox is defined on the provider's mail server for all mail destined for the domain company.com. For each account of the domain, an alias of the common mailbox is created. For example, we have John, Linda, and George. Any mail sent to any one of these accounts ends up in the mailbox common mailbox at company.com. The local domain, which can be different from the registered domain company.mail, has been configured within the LAN on mDaemon. In the local domain, the following accounts are configured John, Linda, and George. When a domain pop collection is scheduled, mDaemon connects to the provider's mail server using the pop protocol and downloads the mail contained in the common mailbox. At this point, mDaemon parses the headers of each email downloaded for one or more email addresses. It then compares them with the addresses of the accounts defined in mDaemon, and when it finds a match, it routes the mail into the user's mailbox. For example, if the parser finds in the header of a downloaded email the address john at company.com, it saves a copy in John's mailbox on the mDaemon server. At this point, the local mail clients can connect to mDaemon to retrieve their mail. The emails sent by a local user to another local user are sorted inside mDaemon, while emails directed to remote users are sent to the remote queue and then sent out to the ISP. The ISP's server will then proceed to resolve the recipient's domain and then send the mail. We now move on to the most common architecture under which mDaemon can be run. Under this setup, mDaemon acts as an independent mail server. This is the most common configuration of mDaemon as well as being the simplest. In this setup, mDaemon is installed on a machine that is always connected to the internet. The address of this machine can be public or private. If the machine is behind a firewall, make sure that the mDaemon services, POP, IMAP, SMTP, and World Client are accessible through the internet. A domain is configured in mDaemon. In our example, we'll use company.com. For this domain, we've configured the following three accounts, John, Linda, and George. The DNS points directly to the mDaemon machine. In other words, if queried for an MX record, the DNS provider of the domain company.com will return the IP address where mDaemon resides. If an email is sent to an account of the domain company.com, the sender's mail server will connect to the machine on which mDaemon runs and deliver the messages to it. The mail client can then connect to mDaemon using the POP, IMAP, or ActiveSync protocol and download the messages. To send email, the email client connects to mDaemon. mDaemon then resolves the recipient's domain, connects to the respective mail server, and delivers the message. We will now discuss running mDaemon as a gateway. In this configuration, a container called Domain Gateway is created on the mDaemon server and a domain name is assigned to it. In this example, we will use company.com. The DNS MX record points to mDaemon as the mail server for the domain company.com. The gateway accepts emails for any account with the domain company.com and saves them in the container which is nothing more than an mDaemon folder. There are various ways in which the emails saved in the gateway can be picked up or delivered to another server. The easiest way is for mDaemon to forward them to the other server. Alternatively, another server can indicate to mDaemon using the etrn or atrn commands when it wishes to receive the emails and then mDaemon sends them to it. Or the remote server can pick up the messages using POP or IMAP. Finally, mDaemon can act as a backup server to a primary mail server. The domain, company.com, is managed by mail server A. Two MX records are configured for the domain company.com. The first MX record with a priority of 10 points to mail server A. The second with a priority of 20 points to the mDaemon mail server. On this server, a domain gateway for the domain company.com has been created. Whenever someone wishes to send a message to an account of the domain company.com, the sender's mail server will query the DNS records, receiving in reply the address of mail server A with higher priority and that of the mDaemon mail server. The remote mail server will attempt to connect to mail server A. If the mail server can be reached, the message is successfully sent to this server. If, on the other hand, the mail server is unreachable, the remote mail server will attempt to connect to the mail server on which mDaemon is running.
The messages will be delivered to mDaemon and deposited into the collector mailbox matching the domain gateway currently enabled. At this stage, mDaemon will periodically attempt to forward the messages to mail server A. These forwarding operations will continue to fail until mail server A can be reached. At this point, all of the emails stored in the gateway mailbox in mDaemon can be forwarded to mail server A. Alternatively, mail server A can be configured to retrieve the messages using other methods such as ETRN, ATRN, domain pop, or pop. This configuration can also act as a partial backup, safeguarding against the loss of mail sent to company.com.